This is it. This is the last lesson in the whole book. Tessellations. This one's actually kind of fun. Tessellating a shape is where you draw a whole picture out of the same shape just by rotating the shape and putting it next to itself over and over and over again. So if we take a look at these, these pictures down here on the bottom, for instance, this shape right here, this is a cube. And what we did was just take this same cube, which is really also a hexagon, and put them next to each other over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again until we had this, this new image, this picture, that represented all these hexagons just touching each other on every side. You can do a tessellation where you have sort of a square with cut off corners, like here in yellow, and then a regular square, the blue square. So really we have kind of two sets of squares that are tessellated together. Um, over here we have these parallelograms, red and white parallelograms, and each parallelogram is laid next to another one, and we have them all drawn next to each other, side by side by side. Each of these are tessellations. Now, the middle one is a tessellation where we have two different figures, and that's not at all uncommon with a tessellation, because here we have this sort of weird cut-off square that sort of looks like this, the yellow ones. It's really an octagon, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, and four of the sides are little and four of the sides are big. So we have octagons and squares together. That's not at all uncommon. But what we're going to do for our lesson here is only what we're only what are called um, regular tessellations. And a regular tessellation is where you have to have a shape that goes exactly around a point, exactly surrounding a point. And the angle of the corner that goes around the point has to be some multiple of 360, so that that all the way around that same point is the same shape in every single location. Always 360 degrees is the total anytime that shape meets at a corner. Yeah, any one of these that'll happen, but we're talking about just regular shapes. And there are only a very few shapes that'll actually do that. You can only actually tessellate equilateral triangles, as is labeled here, squares, and regular hexagons. And we'll see that in the examples. But other than those three shapes, equilateral triangles, squares, and hexagons, every other shape either is going to leave a gap somewhere, or you're going to have to have two different shapes like we had in our middle example here. The only shapes where you can tessellate side by side by side without changing the shape at all are equilateral triangles, squares, and regular hexagons. So let's take a look at the example questions and see if what the how we're being asked to identify these things.